Hello, hello, hello. And here is my faith. God bless you. God keep you. Have a wonderful, marvelous, fantastic day. May all of your blessings fall down on you like the raindrops. Uh, I told y'all I was going to get my hair done. I got it done a little bit. I got a little cut. Dyed my scalp, so I had to work on this. Um, so I look a little rough. Oh, Lord. I pray that God's will be done in your life, and I pray that the desires of your, of your heart be answered. Let me stop this. Uh, stop her. Um, uh, I love to hear her saying, uh, I, I've seen her, Jacqueline Carr, young lady, wonderful young lady, blessed, blessed, blessed. A tool of God, and I ain't lying, God's using on a mic. Um, um, <laughs> I'm getting sick. I ain't lying, I kept wondering, I noticed I sneezed. Hurt this boy, but I'm getting sick, so I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> I'm a hypochondriac. I go to doctor fast when I have medical insurance. So, um, I need to take care of this. Yeah, I don't feel so great. I feel better. I just had me some little spaghetti stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel much better. I'm eating. Have me a big old glass of Kool-Aid. Yes, Kool-Aid. I got to stop drinking pop. Um... It's so silent. Well, my uh, previous video I made was I talked to myself. Did y'all like it? I hope you seen it. I talked to myself because I said I do talk to myself and I like talking to myself. Because I enjoy listening to me. <laughs> uh, um, with that being said. Oh, you see me, and now you don't. I look rough. I need some makeup. Well, not all makeup, but I need some lipstick and some uh, mascara or something. My face look rough. That's why I'm like, I don't want you to see me, but I'll let you see a little bit of it. Let you know, hey, I'm here. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, what I plan on doing is uh, I'm trying to find time. Uh, I have to fight this case. I talked to a lady about the people trying to come at me with a suit. So I spoke with her, so I have to take care of that business. So I'm not worrying about it, you know, it, it whatever, whatever. Uh, but uh, being sick, it brought me to a conclusion. And, you know, I got to thinking, I'm like, you know, I would like to go ahead and have a prayer meeting at my house. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And um, I would like to start another prayer meeting at my house. But this time I have to talk with some people and get the dates and the time. So like I said, please write me if you would like to join me for prayer. And then we can sit down and we'll talk about what dates that we have available. You know, and work around each other's schedule. And um, uh, So that's what I plan on doing. And I'm thinking about calling it the Welling Mothers. But I've got to check and make sure that that name is not already taken. I'm not going to get an ID number. I'm just going to just call it. It's just to be a basic name. I don't, I'm going to uh, attach to Vigilantes for Jesus because I'm going to keep that running. And Chris Peter, the name of the church. But I would like to be called, the group to be called Welling Mothers. But it was a lady that had a group. And this shows you, this is just the way I do. I'll be chasing God. Uh she had a group, and I seen a post in the Goodwill one day. It was a couple of months ago, and I went to the thing. I went to the meeting, and then I never did get her. So you know, I'm determined. So I called the number, and finally I got the person on the phone, and she said she had been sick and she was ill, and so she couldn't do the meeting. So I never did see anyone down there. So I don't know. I went back a couple of times after that, and I never. It was never a meeting there. So I don't know. I'm a. I'm gonna take the name. <laughs> If it's not taken, but I might have to add a little bit to it, but that's what I prayed about and God gave it to me. I must go ahead with that, the welling mothers. And I was learning, God, God takes me through and around some things and sometimes, you know, I have to figure it out. But anyway, uh, the prayer meeting will be called welling mothers and it don't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be all women, but 
It will be Howell and Mothers, and it will be a prayer group where we do fervent prayer. And anybody that believes in prayer, because one of my gifts is intercessory prayer. And I love to pray for people. And I have prayed for people. I'm not bragging or boasting. I'm telling you what's real. And my family, my kids would testify to this. I have prayed for people, and they it has come about. I'm not talking about no million dollars and all this type of thing, but I pray for people's health. I pray, pray for people's um, uh, uh, life to be straightened out, you know. Pray for some desires of their heart, and it has happened. You know, people that was in trouble, people didn't have a job, people that was homeless, things like that have occurred. And so that's, that's what my gift is. I learned that through Bates, my master life class. You know, look at what your gifts are. You take a little test, and it shows you what's your gift. And that's one of my gifts. It's you know, intercessory prayer, and I love to pray. And so anybody that uh, can pray like that, I love to pray. Please come and join me. It will be in my house. Like I said, uh, email me at vigilantesforjesusinc at gmail.com. And um, we will sit down and uh, we will discuss what days and time uh, to have it. Uh, but, yeah, we need prayer. And really what really brought me about uh, to this, the past I talked about sometimes when you, uh, when a person is going through so many trials and tribulations that it can escalate the blessing, where people are, the enemy is trying to push the person down, but by the person, uh, basically he was talking about when Paul got abused, Paul turned around after they beat him and threw him out of the gate, he came back. And so what the pastor was preaching about is that so, oftentimes you could take and try to punish a person, beat a person down, and that person comes back faster, whereas you was trying to get rid of that person and block that person's blessing, but instead you accelerated the blessing, and that's the word the pastor used, accelerate, and that kept staying in my mind, but also what really accelerated this uh, uh, prayer meeting is that I was talking to my son, and like I said, I've been praying for that lady, the one young girl that was going to commit suicide, I've never met her. And so I, uh, my son was talking yesterday, and I asked him about I said, I've been praying about her. I said, how is she? He said, yeah, Mama. He said, they talked to her, and he said, uh, she said, if y'all let me out of here, I'm going to try to kill myself again. Did you hear me? She said she is going to try to kill herself again. Whoo, Lord Jesus. Mm. Whoa. Excuse me. Mm. Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. And that's why I said, um, I mean, that just touches me. A person to turn around and tell you that they would try to kill themselves again. Young person. I don't know exact age, but she's young. She's probably under 30, and she's talking about killing herself again over some bills. And I'm quite sure it's other things, relationships and things. But, yes. I told my son, I wish I could talk to her. I wish I could go see her. But I know in this situation, they're having a mental hospital. Well, I don't say mental hospital. But they have on a psychiatric ward. And uh, it's difficult to visit a person, especially since she doesn't know me. But I wish I could go and talk to her and lay hands on her and pray. And that's why I said we need some welling mothers. We need some women. We need some men. We need welling fathers, welling people. We need people that just pray. They love to pray and to pray this spirit of Jezebel and this spirit of suicide off of people. And really, it's not just about age, young and old. People are dying and taking their own life every day. But, oh, my God, can you imagine? She just tried to kill herself with pills, and now she's turning around. Rather than get better, she's talking about, when you let me out of here, I'm going to kill myself. And she was bold enough, thank God, let's give God the glory, is that she admitted it. That's why I'm talking about praying for people. Thank God I prayed because she could have stayed silent and let them let her out and then went on and continued to try to kill herself. So thank God that she told on it. Thank God. I pray to God. Thank you, Jesus, that she told them. And that's what I'm talking about, speaking up. Tell people where you're at, what you're going through, what's going on in your life, how you are feeling depressed and you want to kill yourself. Like I said, though, uh, I'm going to keep in my prayers. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you don't let her kill herself. I pray that whatever problems and such things that she thinks is really a big problem, death is not going to stop it. Killing yourself is not going to stop paying the bills. What you're getting back at the people because you owe them, they don't care. Yeah, you're not going to owe them depending on the situation. Some people fail to realize if you own homes and property, sometimes they could come back and put liens and stuff against that property and the things 
you thought you were going to lead to your children, you don't, you didn't get the opportunity to do that because they come in and, and they take it. So sometimes you're in a lose-lose situation. So why put yourself there thinking that you're playing God by killing yourself? You know, turn to God, turn to him. And I, I know she's not listening, but I wish she could. You know, and this is for anybody that is contem uh, uh, thinking about uh, contemplating suicide. Please don't kill yourself. Please do not kill yourself. Don't have nobody kill you. You know, please don't don't die. Please don't die. I know it's hard out here. I know what you're going through. Believe me. Poor man's blues. And then sometimes even if you have money, it's not making you happy. And you feel suicidal, but please don't kill yourself. Please, just keep talking, stay in the hospital, let them give you some medication if that's what you need. Talk to the people and tell them what's going on in your life so they can help you. I pray to God that you get the help you need in the facilities that you are in, in the name of Jesus, and that you don't come out here and try to kill yourself or try to kill somebody else. Because some people get behind the wheel trying to kill themselves and end up taking the life of someone innocent. So, God, I pray that that's not your will. I pray that your will be for her to be healed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Like I said, uh, oh, God, I'm not feeling so well. It's the weather. One minute it's hot, then it's cold, then it's raining, then it's not. Oh, my goodness. It's just so much. <laughs> it's so much. It is so much. Here I am. I got my little bitty earrings off, but I feel a draft. So that's how I know I'm getting sick, too, because I got caught in the rain. My feet was wet one day. I don't know. So, like I said, yarning, I'm going to go to the doctor and uh, see what's going on. And um, Like I said, I pray that everyone does the same. Please go out. And if you feel feeling sick or weak or whatever, you have medical insurance. And even if you don't, go to the doctor and find out what's wrong with you if you're feeling sick or ill. Don't sit there and let it escalate. Go to the doctor get take it care of. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Give me the strength to hold out, Lord. Give me the strength to hold out. Oh, Lord Jesus. Um... Pretty much that's it. Like I said, it's going to be called the Welling Mothers until I find out otherwise. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how to post more information about my little meeting. I have to do that. It's just time consuming with some things. Um, I, I, you know, when you're in a rush, but trying to get the time to do it when it's time, you know. Like I said, I got to figure out how to pull the papers up and all this type of thing, who to print it to. So I'm going to try to get some information. My mother always say, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. Mama used to always say, and I used to laugh, and now I understand what she's saying. I'm telling you these things that, that I'm planning on doing. I have some other things I plan on doing, but I'm not going to discuss them right now. But like I said, uh, I'm trying, it's, it's a lot of things that I'm, I'm trying to get into. And then you start it, and then you can't end it. And so trying to hold my place online, you know, I find something, then I got to try to hold my place, then you got to upload files. and then try, I don't have a printer, so then I have a printer, but it's not connected, and the ink is more than the printer card. So trying to uh, get information and print it out when you find it, when you discover it. Oh, Lord Jesus, that's a hindrance for me. Like I said, I need to get my rest, and uh, I'm going to look into some more things about having to deal with this, you know. Finding something to give me energy without drinking a whole lot of caffeine. But like I said, I pray that God watches over you and He keeps you, you know, He keeps a hedge of protection around you. And like I said, my email is vigilantes for Jesus. V I L A N T T E S F O R J E S U S I N C at gmail.com. Vigilantes for Jesus. Please call me if you would like to sit down and pray. If not, I'm going to find other avenues where I can reach people for this. Like I said, just trying to find uh, 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 information on uh, who to contact it.
Whoa, that was a big yarn and had a thin thing. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm planning on doing right now is um, continue to take care of business. Continue to take care of business. It's just time to get up out of her. And uh, just say that God's good. You know, God is good. And oh, thank you, Jesus. Look how awesome it is. See, that's why it's good to talk to yourself because, see, yourself will help you remember what self was going to talk about. Uh, I had an aha, Brother Tim. <laughs> aha. Uh, epiphany. I had one today. I was thinking. Hmm. I said, well, this boss is always getting on my nerves. And maybe God is telling me, it came to me, maybe God is having it uneasy because it's not where he wanted me to be. Hello. Yeah, and that makes sense. So uh, I'm having all kind of stress, and he's threatening me, and every time you look around, he's bugging me, so... It can't be where God wants me to be. I thought it was just a test, but it could be that God wants me to move. So I don't know if he wants me to move to another job or how he's going to do it. But however, you know, it's all right with me. But um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for unanswered prayers. Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you for all the blessings and the grace and the mercy that you have bestowed on me and my family. I love you, Lord. I love you. And all I want to do is to do your will. And like I said, yeah, that's something right there. You know, I, I'm going to do the prayer meeting again. Maybe that's why everything hasn't grown. I didn't use my half. But like I said, in and of myself, I was like, where would people part? But I failed to realize it's not important. The Jehovah Witness came knocking on my door uh, yesterday, early. And uh, they get out. Poof. And they bring people to Christ, where well, they try to bring people to uh, whatever their organization they believe. And so I should do the same. I need to get on my P's and Q's, and so that's what I want to do. I want to take and go ahead and start a prayer group, and we sit down and we talk. But I pray all this is in the name of Jesus, Jesus. wonderful Savior, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. God bless you all. Ta-ta.